Okay, Tom Cassidy here, going to talk to you a little bit about Progress 8 and how Four Matrix uses it. First of all, we've got the Four Matrix dashboard. And actually, I'm using something that I've never done before. I, I'm on a Mac and I'm running an emulator, and the emulator is producing what uh, a PC would look like for me. Uh, and then it's it's got the Four Matrix software running in it. So I don't know how well this is going to work, but I like trying things for the first time. So if I can go back to that, hopefully I will be able to see this. Right, yes. So this is the, what the dashboard looks like in Four Matrix. One of the things I've got to get used to is that the speed of the emulator's trackpad is like way, way slower than my Macs. So I'm just going to take a little bit of time to get used to that. And across the top of the dashboard here, we can see the various sections of Four Matrix. We've got the main section, which is what this is. We've then got the school level stuff. Then we've got the subject level stuff, the pupil level stuff, and we've got groups and other. So we're going to look at Progress 8, which is in beta. And this is pupil level stuff, but it's actually, of course, uh, gives an overall score for the school. Now, if we go back just for a second, then back to home, you'll see that there is in the top right-hand side here, now we've actually got the Progress 8 overall school measure. And that says that it's 4.34 for attainment 8 school, which is somewhere between a C and a D on the new point scale. Uh, C is a five. And, and the Progress 8 score, uh, which is minus 0.57, that means on average students do over just a little over half a grade worse than they would have been expected to, given the starting point, which was their key stage to uh, entry points. Um, now, what happens then if we click on the magnifying glass there, we will be able to get to the individual student by student um, calculations. So let's have a look, say, at this student. Here we've got uh, Hannah. And Hannah has got different colors. Now, you can't see it all here, I think, possibly. Let's go on trackpad. Yes, this is a little better. Now, what happens is she's got blue stuff, which is actually the core. And that's doubled. So you've got English and maths in there. And because she did it English literature as well as English language, she doubles both of those. So there's two doubled is four. So we've got four scores counting from that section. We've now got this green section, which is the, the her best three scores of the EBAC subjects, which are going to be any of the sciences and they're going to be any of the languages as well as history and geography. So on that, you can see that Hannah's got um, uh, interestingly, okay, so she's got an A star in German and a C in French, but she hasn't got a science double award there. So that's interesting. So she doesn't get that third score. And then the other ones, the yellow ones, are the best three of other subjects. And this is highlighted, so you've actually got art and design, DT graphic, I mean, it's basically her three best subjects. So what happens is you end up then with her English and Maths fine points, Giving it now, see if we can just zoom in on that. That might be a little bit helpful to actually see. I don't know whether this is going to work. Yeah, you can just about see it. Brilliant. Now, I think it works the other way uh, in terms of the scrolling. Yeah, it's reverse scrolling or it's normal scrolling, and the Mac does reverse scrolling. So anyway, this lady came in with a key stage two points of 3.71, which gives an estimate she's expected to by comparing her with national averages. This part's going to change, of course, as the national data changes. She's expected to get a point score of 29 across all her 10 components. We said there were four from the core. She only had two from the EBAC, and then she had three from the others. So she ends up with an actual score of 49. Now, it's quite interesting is that her estimate of 29, based on a low key stage two starting position, and her actual is 49 is quite different. How different? This is the progress score. So she actually got 20 more points than was expected. Now, that's for these 10 scores, 20 more points. So you divide by 10 to find approximately she's getting two points per entry or per, per score better than expected. Right. Um, that's kind of like her average. And what happens is then we all we do is we average across the whole cohort, all of these people, and we, I'll go back to um, normal viewing. Average across all of these people, and we find that we will then, up, then end up with a Progress 8 score across the entire cohort. And so this would be indicated not minus 0 0.57, which means, as I said earlier, on average, students in this school do just over a grade worse than is expected. 
Um, okay, right. So um, that's uh, that's progress eight, and that's how Form Matrix does it, and it takes care of all the calculations for you, so it stops you having to pour over spreadsheets and do all that sort of stuff. Okay, so I hope you find it useful. Get Form Matrix; it's great. Um, I'm going to see if I can get out of this now. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it that way. I might have to do it that way. I can. Fantastic. So that's me done. Um, see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.